adventuring guilds. I've never seen it done in an interesting way, and I find it far more restrictive for PCs than the classic meeting in a tavern. I get it, honestly. Like, we, yeah, we got into a bit it. of a thing. A lot of people pointed out in the comments in the other video. I forgot it was, like, thieves know, guilds thieves have been guild. around for thousands like, like, of years. Thieves guilds are cringe, right? However, can we just do away with the name guild and just call it a gang or a mafia? Yeah. Like, honestly, I get it, I get it, but when we put the word guild into it, it's just... Stop it, mate. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I did an Adventures Guild in my game, and the party was given a choice as to whether or not to join. Basically, the premise is that the nation in which it was founded is overrun with various monsters, and the government is too busy, or too cheap, to send in the army every single time a villager gets eaten by a giant snake or some such. So the Adventurers Guild and its various chapters around the Empire will post bounties on these creatures, and give them out to wandering zealots, landless knights, illegal mages, etc. Basically, the dregs and outliers of society. Who wants a quick buck at the risk of their lives? And you're under no obligation to keep doing quests should you decide, fuck this shit, dying ain't worth it. TLDR, have it be a side option for your party should they want some grinding slash character interaction, but never tie them down to it. That was done I very really well. Like I, I like that. That's particularly good, actually. I like that. You, or it's, I like it in the sense of adventuring, Adventures Guild should be... Um, you. D I don't know if you played Red Dead Redemption. No, I didn't the play first the first one. one. It had like a bounty board oh, that yeah. you could have went up to and picked it if you wanted to. Yeah. But it, it should have something like that, like a bounty board to go and do, but you get paid by the government yeah, or get paid whatever. by whoever runs the town. But I think it should be done like that. That's a that's a good way to do it. Mm -hmm. What I, what I really love about this concept is it fulfills me with that inner, you know, like that early day piracy slash, slash privateer. Yeah. yeah. Like you know, really, let's just let the markets decide. You know yeah. what I mean? We'll get the direct society. We'll give them some money. You guys go let sort, sort of, like, if, 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 if they die, they die. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Actually, I really like this concept. I like, it. I like this. What's this called? And games that I had played in, or run adventures guilds, were just organisations that had halls that were mostly just all in one locations, who had everything and travelling adventure would commonly need in one location. As well as a place to hang out, sleep, sell shit, and most importantly, get info and side quests easily and conveniently. Like they are the only ones that will have up to date info on local dungeon conditions, roaming monsters, rumours that might lead to profit for adventurers that would be certain death for a normal person, etc. I mean like I do like the idea, however I do love world building. And like, you know, yeah. I think trapping the party to one building. Yeah. You know what I mean? You get what I'm trying to say. Now I do think this is a good idea for like, you know, a very early, like, you know, a newer DM that isn't as Slightly as good as improvising or near players. Yeah, I, I think this isn't the bad. Think, yeah, this this do, I, I, it, it has its problems, but I can also see the benefits. Yeah, you know, especially great as an outpost for more exploration slash hex slash grid crawl type games. You can have an outpost in a location that would be too dangerous for a normal town, but still be a safe place for trained adventurers to get all their shit done as well as rest. And lastly, it's an excellent place for harlings to be that would also know what they're getting in for when going with a group of adventurers. So therefore would be better able to not get killed when being actively babysat by the party. I just don't get how it is in any way restrictive. It was always convenience for the sake of the PCs. I get that. It, it is very convenient. However, I am a sucker for world building. And I feel like... I do think it is restrictive in the sense of world building, though. Yeah, it definitely is to a certain extent. Unless... No. I don't know. I, I like investigating times, yeah. going about, seeing the people. Oh, so what's yeah. there? What's that? Let me poke this. You know what I mean? Oh, let me go it's over here. It's not that you can't do that in Adventurers Guild, but you kind of are more... You're in the one building. Mm, yeah, you're, you're in, stuck, kind of. Yeah, does that make sense? I don't know. Well, I suppose it doesn't have to be like that. It really does depend on the DM. Yeah, it does. It, it depends, it, really, on, the it depends on the it. DM. And it depends if the players have entered or not, you know? If you're going to do an adventurer's guild in your game, it needs to be a political factor onto itself. An organisation full of highly skilled specialists. Fighters and mages and rogues, oh my. <laughs> it's going to hold a lot of sway with the local government. Or even worse, the guild masters. Run the kingdom, while the rightful rulers are the puppets and mouthpieces. You could even have uppity guild halls on the frontier saying fuck Jews and going rogue. 
and the chaos that would ensue from that. Basically what I'm saying is that an adventurer's guild has to be such a prominent force that the game centers around it and the characters running it. That's actually a good point. I think, mm-hmm. yeah, they like condense that yeah. pretty well. I do love the idea of it. Now, you know what? I've, I think what it is, what my problem is with guilds is I just hate the name. Yeah. Can we call them organizations? Can we call them maybe maybe they're, um, okay, they're companies, but they've got tra- contracts with the government, you know? Yeah. Can we? I don't know. Maybe maybe it's a word and thing for me. Like maybe maybe, or maybe something like that. Maybe right? it's because anytime I think guilds, I'm sorry. I just I can't help but think of oblivion. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I I'm sorry, guys. I just I just can't. It's just oblivion and sky them in my mind. It's like, oh, do you want to join the fighters guild and the Lugs guild and the me? You know what I mean? Like, you get what exactly what I'm yeah. on about, guys. Can yeah. we just? It, there has to be like a de- better name name for this that I really crave that I just need there to be. What would you name your thieves guild or your adventurers guild or your any other guild? Like, I, I, don't what would you name I, them that doesn't have to be guild but is still is in guild. the line? Well, I can understand definitely what like you know a mages guild being a university. Oh, like that, that, fully, that could, or like a college or something like know, that. Because I fully understand that. Because that makes complete sense in my uh-huh. mind, you know what I mean? However, let's be honest with you, we're going to have to call... Okay, so if the universities are the Mages Guild, the rogues are pretty much the mafia slash whatever local crime syndicate yeah. is local to your country. So for us, it would be the RLA or the EDA. <laughs> um, and then for the Fighters Guild, I like that idea of maybe contract mercenary work you know maybe something like that or you know like just boxing d- club or something no not even boxing <laughs> club it's just dirty work it's like yeah. you know uh like we'll oh, get, let the peasants yeah, well, go yeah. sort that out you know get their get their pitchforks out and we'll we'll leave out a few pennies for them you know you, you guys go do that you yeah. know we'll be a good word for it we'll be a good representation I don't know. We've went on about this long enough let's go on to the MMA next fight one. Pit. <laughs> <laughs> maybe someday <laughs> maybe someday hey guys Do you like models in your tabletop role-playing games? Because we do too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do too. (laughs) (laughs) We got human bitties. We got lizard bitties. We got orc bitties. Oni bitties. Cat bussies. We've got everything you want at (laughs) neckbeardia.co.uk. Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on the story. I used the Adventurers Guild as a bait and switch in my campaign. I had NPCs speak about it a couple of times early on, had them finally visit and register, went over the different members' ranks, explained how the top ranked members are the strongest adventurers in the world with gold designations. They started on beginner, started sending them on quests, they go up a couple of ranks, they get it in their heads that they're going to be the top ranked. Story never had them go back. They stay at bronze for nearly a year's worth of sessions. Finally, one of the dumber ones asks when they're going to rank up. Towards the end, the entire system gets trashed because the top ranked adventurers had the entire system in their pockets and were using it to cover up most of what they were doing beneath it all. Campion ends. A recurring joke team is two ranks above them despite them reaching level 20 at the end of it all. They were all level 3. It was fun. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's a different way of doing it. <laughs> Look, you know, just because you put it in doesn't mean the players are going to interact with it. What's what's that saying? You can bring the horse to the water, but you can't make them drink it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Getting woken up at 3am by a chain-smoking messenger pixie dumps the sealed note in your hand and flies off. It's the guild. Emergency contract. Full weapons, travelling gear. Curse. Roll out of bed and dress in the dark. Stomp through the freezing cold to the guild and meet up with three others while some elf that looks like he hasn't slept in a year briefs you. Hands out annotated maps and sets out bags with the supplies they think you need. Some asshole kidnapped the little girl and ran off to ruins. City guard says they can't do shit that far from town. Guild has 12 days of rations. Rent of 4 horses. 4 healing potions. All guild prices. All stacked and waiting for us. Sign the paper to take the contract while someone shoves hot tea in your hand. By dawn, we're on the road. That's a pretty cold plot hook. 
I actually really like that. I like that. Although I really want to know more about this chain smoking pixie. I want to know more. <laughs> I, 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 I think I think you could have an entire campaign based around a chain smoking pixie. Yeah. So you're gonna be a star kid. You know, I love that. I love the concept. Have you watched? I don't know if any of you guys have watched it. I know I have. Don't think you have. That disenchanted on Netflix. No, I haven't watched it. There's a chain smoking hooker pixie on it, <laughs> um, and that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> it's perfect. But no, I look I like that. That's a pretty good. That's that's a really good hook. And what I liked about that was they tried to put in a bit more real life flair into it. it, got, it you know, like I'm a sucker for that grittiness. Yeah. All right, guys. I know. I know it's kind of. I cringe, like that grittiness. But I like well. that grittiness, and I feel like you know that was that's a really cool setup. Yeah. I, I enjoyed that personally. PCs start in a city with adventurers' guilt. Go there. What quests are there to take? Ledgemaster looks up at them from his charts. Do you have a contract with us? No, we're just here to take bounties and get paid. Okay, sign here and you'll be part of the company. Contract stipulates you do what the guild tells you to do. You don't get to pick and choose different bounties, because then they'd eventually have bounties nobody would take. You have no rights to the treasure or magical items you find. You're paid 30 gold pieces per job, plus some reservants pay if you lose a limb or are crippled by the job. The treasure and items you find are property of the company, who use it to pay their taxes to the duke, whose fucking city they live in and employ people from. Just the four of you? Dungeon delving? What the fuck? You're going to be shipped off with these 12 yak fuckers to kill or capture a band of horse thieves up the road. The dungeon delving jobs go to the cool, influential leaders of the guild. No, we will not tell you about any rumours. Sign the contract or leave. Not using an adventurer's guild as a shitty antagonistic mercenary group equals shit taste. Bonus. The company heard you four have been raiding ruins and getting treasure under our noses. Now you'll see what happens to thieves. Guild now looking for PCs and trying to kill them for being competition. Why would they let other agents just fucking show up? and start stealing treasure on land they've been sold the exploration rights to by the Duke. Why not just follow you there? Wait for you to get the treasure and kill you. Does anyone on TG actually think of cool, interesting ways to apply tropes to games anymore? Shit, this isn't even fucking new or original. I hate to admit that he's right. Yeah. However, however, we're getting more to the point. I ha- I hate this, but I love it at the same time. It's too close to reality. Uh-huh. I'm sure um, a lot of you people have worked maybe uh, some from a contract job before. I'm sure most of you have worked any job before yeah. <laughs> and get fucked over by your employer. See, yeah. whenever you get your cash checks in and it tells you like how much you've earned, how much you've actually made, and then it tells you, oh, but we took this percent, so this is what you actually made. Yeah, honestly, see, honestly, Bullshit. good guys, fuck taxes. That's all I have to say about that shit. Mm-hmm. But you know exactly that's exactly what it would be like. Oh yeah, no, all that, all you know, that's our stuff. So it is. No, this you're, is you're, you're, you get this you and get slide this. one gold piece over the yeah. table. It's like no. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Oh no, you're on fixed arm. You come place. back with like half an arm, an eye missing. You know, fine, it's like, like okay, two gold pieces. You know, fine. Like, whenever they start out, it's like oh yeah, no, you can take your cut of the mm-hmm. treasure and all that. But see, once they get big enough, it's like hi, you're on the arguably bitch. Yeah, you know what I mean. Whatever. <laughs> No yeah. matter what the fuck you find, that's ours, you know? Yeah. And you know, find like, 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 come on, guys. Bullshit. Just, oh, don't do it. I always felt that Adventurers Guild's point was not for the benefit of the adventurers, but for the kingdom or city or state. Adventurers live to fuck shit up, and the guild points that desire in a positive direction. If Rograd the Adventure Slayer is always off chasing rumours that mostly end up being wyverns or something, He's not sitting with his drinking buddy saying, yeah, I killed a dragon. I could totally be the king. Quests can be real dangers that need to be taken care of. And it's easier to send in five rookie adventurers to clear out the goblin cave than it is to rally men at arms who you'd rather have manning the border. It also helps to keep track of these known powerful people rather than letting them do whatever, whenever and having no clue. Very good point. Yeah. Honestly, I think this reverts back to my point earlier. I really do like the idea of an adventurer's guild being like a almost an arm of the government, but not yeah. like an independent contractor yeah. of the government. Yeah. And I think that's the best way for in my eyes. That's for me personally. That's what I like to imagine. You know what I mean? Maybe just me. Do you guys have any like you know examples? Of like you know, okay, this is an, this is a guild done well. This is a guild done perfectly. This is dog shit. And I will say, thieves guilds are fucking dog shit. 
pick a better name, guys. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, here I, we go. I, I, no, I just, I, guys, I just don't like the like uh, guys. I just don't like the name Thieves Guild. All right. <laughs> so yeah, can we all just start calling them like a gang or a mafia or you know, yeah, something else? Because it literally just gives me horrible fucking Skyrim Oblivion like <laughs> flashback vibes. Do you want to join the guild? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, do you want to join my guild? <laughs> oh god, fucking World Warcraft flashbacks are even worse. <laughs> you guys, come on. But you get what I'm on about. I'm sure you guys can understand. Yeah. I do think there is, like, adventure guilds, they're not all bad. No, there they, are ways of doing it right, but most of the time it's just the same shit. I, th- I think the problem is so many times we've seen them done perfectly. Purely. And it's kind of like, eh, I'm not really interested yeah. in that. Just you know, shimmy that off to the side. Yeah. Let me just do whatever else. But if you frame it more as maybe a privateer. Yeah, you but know as I mean? James said, if you have any um, stories of them done well or done bad, we'll let, us them, know. let us know. If you have, if we actually, if, below. You know, if we have enough examples, you know, we might, we might do, do a video, video on it. Because we haven't done one of them in a wee while. Yeah. And, I, and I really want to hear what you guys have, have to, to say, say about it because it is a, something that I'm kind of like I've got a bit of a love hate relationship. Do you get yeah. do you get what I'm on about? But as always, check out the links. Go to the website. Check out the models, boys. If you want some biddies, hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>